Today we're gonna to talk about how to get your PowerPoint presentation onto your iPad. Now, the method that I'm gonna talk about today doesn't require an Office 365 subscription, so you can download the PowerPoint app for free. And if you have a PowerPoint presentation already built, you can get that onto your iPad and use it to present your iPad uh, in front of a jury or if you have a, at a mediation or a bench trial. So the way that we're gonna do that, let's go to the iPad right away. I'm gonna head over to PowerPoint. And once you open the PowerPoint app, you're gonna be taken to this open screen because it wants to know which PowerPoint presentation you wanna open. Now in this section, if I select iPad, there's nothing in there because there's right now nothing saved into this iPad in the PowerPoint presentation uh, app. The way that I typically recommend for clients to get content of any kind uh, into an iPad from your computer, whether you're using TrialPad or PowerPoint, uh, is to use Dropbox. Now you can use other cloud services, uh, you can use OneDrive when you're talking about uh, PowerPoint, uh, or you can use iTunes, but the easiest way for me in terms of working with a team of people uh, is to use Dropbox. So I'm gonna go to my Dropbox account here, uh, but you'll see that it's loading up. I'm gonna go to Groundwork Team Folder, into our YouTube video section. And in the native files, there is that timeline example that we've been working with earlier when we talked about how to make an interactive timeline. I'm gonna to touch it so it uh, to select that and it's gonna start downloading. And we're using an internet connection here and that's important in case you're gonna be somewhere that doesn't have an internet connection. Uh, we use an internet connection to download or to open the PowerPoint file. And if we look at it, we can see all the, the slides are there. I'm gonna select slide one and then hit the triangle, the play button in the upper right hand corner. And now we're presenting the iPad. Right now this iPad isn't connected to another screen, otherwise you would see kind of the presenter view. Uh, but right now what you're seeing is uh, what the jury would see. Now this has all the features uh, that the regular desktop PowerPoint application has. So we built this timeline to be interactive so we can touch any of the exhibits. Let's talk about this uh, follow-up visit with the orthopedic surgeon. We zoom in on it, we had it animated so that way the background images would dim, the call-outs would pop out, and then the, the text would highlight. So we can see all of that just by clicking on that kind of icon. To go back to the main uh, PowerPoint timeline slide, well, I'm just gonna swipe this way and it brings me right back to my main timeline. Now I can jump and say, let's the release to work documentation if we wanna go to that. Uh, we could see that just by touching it and then we'll swipe to get back to the main uh, PowerPoint slide number one. To get out of this, uh, you wanna make sure that the jury is not uh, looking at your screen or the UIs have, or you've otherwise blanked or muted your screen so you don't see it, uh, but you can just pinch to close like this and then uh, your PowerPoint will go away and you'll be back to your regular PowerPoint screen. So that's how you get it onto your iPad and play it. But there's an important step that a lot of people for frequently forget. And that is, if you go back here and we go all the way back to the beginning and look at iPad, there's still nothing on this iPad. So if I were to take this uh, outside of the office and go to a courtroom that doesn't have internet uh, available to me, I won't be able to look at that PowerPoint. And so let me show you what that looks like. I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi off and Wi-Fi off. Now if we go back to that PowerPoint, not try all that, if we go back to that PowerPoint, now if I try to play that PowerPoint, I can't, if I try to get into my Dropbox account, I can't see it. It's in cache kind of somewhere, because every time if I try to reopen it, it'll go quicker. But I can't access it right now because I'm not connected to the internet. So let's turn the internet back on. All right, we're connected. And let's go back to PowerPoint. And I'm gonna reopen that PowerPoint presentation and show you how to save it locally. That's the most important part. So we'll go to our Dropbox folder, find that, and we'll go to YouTube, and then go to Native Files, and open up that timeline example. Notice it went really quickly because it's some way in cache. But for some reason, it doesn't make that available to you in case the internet suddenly goes out. But anyway, I've got the, the PowerPoint presentation here. The button you have to press is in the upper left-hand corner. It's that piece of paper with the ellipses through it. This one right here. And now you have to save a copy. You save a copy of this timeline and it appends the file name with the word copy on it. And you wanna save it to the iPad. Because right now, remember, it's being pulled from 
your Dropbox folder, you need to take it out, not take it out, but make a copy from the Dropbox folder to the local device. And so we're gonna do that. We'll save the name there, the name's fine. Let's minimize the keyboard and then scroll back over and go to the iPad and then you'll save it there. And in the upper right hand corner, you'll hit save. Now it's saving and now it's there. And let's turn off the internet now again so we can show that this is working properly. Go back to our PowerPoint presentation, go back out, go to open uh, and if I try to get to some of these Dropbox folders, I won't be able to because I'm not connected to the internet. But on my iPad, I do have that local copy. I can click on that and have that PowerPoint presentation available to me. I'll hit the play button. I see my timeline once again. I can go to the map of the crash, swipe this way, and we'll get back to the main timeline. So that's the things that you have to do is the overall steps are make the PowerPoint on your desktop or your laptop, upload it to Dropbox, open it in PowerPoint from your Dropbox folder, and then make sure to save a copy to the iPad. So those are the steps that you're gonna need to go through to make sure that you have that PowerPoint presentation available to you. If you have any questions about those steps uh, or about PowerPoints and iPads and that workflow in general, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there.